Greetings, friends. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All over the world, we stretched our hands and hold each other, connecting with love and light. We continue our work in our circle standing within the aura of the great center Jerusalem. Thank you for joining and I welcome you on behalf of the Hikal Group and the 2025 initiative. Over to you, Uta. Hello, friends. Welcome also from me to our Jerusalem meditation. Um, this project is an experiment of working with the subtle energies that are overlighting the city of Jerusalem. And we are practicing standing at the midway point, linking the higher with the lower and the vertical with the horizontal. So we reach into the light and bring it down to meet the need. We reach into the silent place and bring from thence the gift of understanding. Thus with the light we work and turn the darkness into day. This is our standing. Before we enter meditation, today Efrat will help us find ourselves, ground ourselves in the happenings uh, in the city of Jerusalem. Over to you, Efrat. Thank you, Uta. Good evening, dear friends. In, in our meditation, we are trying to connect to the higher light that comes from above and bring it, bring it down and meet the, the ancient light uh, that it's underneath the, the city. But in between these two lights, there is the, the reality, the, the happening of the time on the ground, which is getting more and more tense. Uh, this government have uh, about 10 days to complete their uh, program, the, the changes that they want to bring, because at the end of the month, they are going to, um, to a break for the summer break. So a lot of uh, tension is rising up and the government is trying to, to push forward as much as they can. And the, in the same time, the citizen, the amazing citizen, really amazing citizen of this country just stand and say, yeah, you can do it. We will not allow it. It's a lot of people in the street, a lot of people uh, from, from the army, from the medical uh, system, from high techs, just uh, giving back their uh, position. They say we are not going to save a uh, dictatorship. So uh, it's a lot of tense, a lot of uh, anger in the street and combine to the weather that it's very hot in these days here so you can imagine the atmosphere thank you mm, yeah thank you Efrat, for this overview and um, yeah we can hear it in your voice the atmosphere in jerusalem now so it is quite a, a feat to stand at the midway point um, between what you said, what reality 
and uh, <clears throat> and the higher the higher reality. Um, yeah, we have now in about 25 minutes or so, we will have the exact new moon moment in Cancer. So it's a special opportunity um, to focus on how we anchor the light, how we embody it, how we feel it in our own body, and also how we anchor it in, in the earth, in Jerusalem, and also in our own locality. So perhaps we can focus in this meditation on, on this embodying aspect. <clears throat> So let us enter into our inner silence. Sitting consciously <clears throat> in our body. and opening ourselves to the earth energies and to the loving embrace of the mother of the world. <clears throat> Feeling our spine from the bottom to the top, like our middle axis and let everything come into alignment around it. The body posture and the emotions and the field of thoughts. And letting our soul shine its light through this outer form. Radiance are we and power. Let us convene now in our etheric outpost in the aura of Jerusalem. Let us consciously enter this space now that we have built over many years, a place of harmonious, geometrical order. Let our hearts swing into resonance, becoming one group heart. And our minds synchronize into a unified telepathic field. Stabilizing, standing soul to soul. And as a focal point in Jerusalem, 
we are consciously part of the planetary network of world servers. The Ashna center of the planet. Let us attune now to our co-workers in the subtle world who guide this Jerusalem project, human and Deva. We are taking up now our function at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below. Fortified and protected in the aura of our higher co workers, let us make ourselves receptive now to the high vibrational energy over lighting Jerusalem. And let us take a few moments to fill ourselves with this high energy, releasing all else.
gradually let us refocus in our outpost at the midway point between the high world and Jerusalem below. Let us collect this high vibration that we have touched into our group field. Holding it stable for a moment. High vibration in our group field. And with our hearts now, let us mold it into the will to love. Take a moment to sense how we do this, this alchemical act, molding the high vibration into the substance of the will to love. And visualize it now as a golden stream pouring downwards into the earth beneath the city. A vortex of golden energy, seeing it uniting and blending with the light beneath the city. And from this golden vertical column, let us now see the will to love spread out into the city. Visualize golden Deva builders give substance to our visualization, weaving together threads of golden relations into the tapestry of the city. And now, with will and love, let us affirm this unifying work with the mantra of unification. With heartfelt intent. The souls of all are one, and we are one with them. We seek to love not hate. We seek to serve and not exact due service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love.
Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Visualize a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into the whole area of Israel-Palestine. See this energy protecting and strengthening and directing those who stand for freedom and the common good. Visualize the process of transforming conflict into right relations taking place. Let us stand as a peace commanding presence and will it to be so. See the golden wave spread into the nations of the Middle East, especially supporting the many peace initiatives are underway, affirming an emerging higher order in the Middle East. and expanding our view, our visualization eastwards now. Let us see a golden band connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. Pulsating, vibrating. And weaving it further from Darjeeling to Tokyo. and further to New York. To London and to Geneva. And back to Jerusalem. Visualize the unifying wave continue to flow throughout the etheric body of the planet, uniting us all. And gradually bringing our consciousness back 
into our own personal field and feeling the golden unifying energy flowing in our body, embodying this flow. and anchoring it in the earth, in our own location. And letting it radiate out into the surroundings. Let us hold this embodying of the golden unifying energy while we say now the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. Excuse me, I had an interest problem. Minikudat haor, asher bedat el. Zrom haor, el dat adam. Gered haor, al pnei adam. Minikudat ahava, asher belev hael. Zrom haahava, elev avot enosh. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, ושם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה, את התוכנית על פני האדמה. وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندون بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light, within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love, within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center 
where the will of God is known. Let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Thank you, friends, for this deep work. Let us open the floor for sharing our impressions. And perhaps we can especially relate to this aspect of embodying and anchoring of high energies. Hello, this is Helen from Israel. Um, I would like to share um, the main uh, the main energy that came uh, through a very strong image and uh, and felt sense of um, of the energy of our guides on high watching thoroughly and watching here in Jerusalem or in Israel the struggle that is happening uh, a struggle for to reconfigure reconfigure itself and it's to reconfigure itself in the world 
that is also in the process of reconfiguration. So I had this uh, sense of scrutiny that they are scrutinizing us. And with a lot of heart. Hello, everyone. Here's a native from Munich. I want to go on because I heard this word the heart and there was so much heart energy in today in my perception. And for me, these, um, these process of anchoring needs the whole being. It needs to include the, the highest and the lowest, however we can, whatever we can hold in us. And at the same time, it needs for me, the, the staying in the center. Um, and I experienced today very much this beauty of being in the center and holding the whole spectrum of, of the heart of, of spirit and matter. And um, yeah, so for me, it was very important also to hear at the beginning Efrat, who shared about this concrete things who are happening at the, at, at the moment and the, there was so much compassion called uh, or the, the quality of compassion um, was awakened inside myself and the, the thought of the necessity of an, of an instrument for the peoples to, to stop a government in such a case. So yes, and I needed this a little bit also to really have the substance together with, with our high frequency to to um to to have at, yeah for this alchemical process um in our crew part. Yes, I appreciate a lot the crew part. Thank you so much.
Aloha, this is Kathy from Hawaii. The naming of inclusion in lining with the golden divas, divas for the weaving of that golden energy of right relations and will to good and love uh, really activated even more, amplified and empowered that work uh, to a very surprising um, level of amplitude and activity. Thank you. Um, this is Alexander. I rarely have um, um, see, uh, rarely see colors in the meditation and visualization of uh, seeing the energy, but today it was this interesting to observe the change of the. Um, this it's not even a color, but the quality which expressed like a color of the golden light. When we just started meditating uh, and connected with that light above Jerusalem, it was more like I don't know much about different sh types of gold, but it was like white gold or like uh, milk gold, radiant light. And then when it's actually, we started uh, visualizing distribution of the light in the city itself, it became gold gold, like this uh, an Alexa dome gold on this image on the screen. And then as it's been spreading around the world, when it came to the um, New York Planetary Center, it became suddenly this, uh, greenish gold. I don't know how to describe it, but it was uh, very interesting. And so it was certain recognitions that this, it's the qualification that's happening as the energy precipitates and that it's the difficult to say what is the reason for, uh, for that but uh, for me it was a reminder that uh, we through our work and uh, collective work group work we add certain qualities to the energies we receive and perceive Thank you.
Yeah, is there anyone else who would like to? Hello, everyone. Thank you, Uta, as always, for this beautiful opportunity to come together and do something very special. I usually have very, very vivid um, images that come in meditation. And today, I just think it is probably significant that I did not. And actually, there was a profound silence for me. Um, there was light but it was mostly the silence. And all I can sort of say that was impressed within it as I think about it, was that it was almost as if it is that moment between the in-breath and the out-breath. It was, it was almost as if I was, we were standing in a space that was in between. Um, I, that's all I can say. Yeah, it seems that we are witnessing many changes. Of course, outside in the world, but perhaps also in our inner perception it seems that we are seeing more and we don't know yet how to interpret or how to find words for it. Yeah, this profound silence, mm -hmm. this, this space in between where we can discern the different shades of gold, which means different subtle energies, subtle qualities of, of energies that we just don't have words yet, don't have concepts yet for. So for me, it's very special to, to have this opportunity together to experience this, hold a, a field, um, a unified telepathic field in which we can register these impressions and try together to communicate something of them. So thank you all for this effort <laughs> to put into words. Mm these very subtle things. There is one comment that's been shared in the ch uh, chat um, from Tunji in the Sunshine Coast of Australia. Hello, I just wanted to share my feeling of collective unifying energy. The presence of Jerusalem was tangible. The connection of the group felt strong. Thank you, Tunji.
Yeah. So it seems that we leave it like this. Um, just wanted to let you know that we will have a summer break. Um, so the next, the Leo new moon, we will be on break. And um, we are going into a deep reflection, our uh, core group, our team here behind the scenes. Um, perhaps when we come back for the next round, uh, we may have a, a bit of a different format, not clear yet. So we wish you all a beautiful summer, rich and in the center, in the heart. And uh, see you all back in Virgo. Bye-bye, friends.